Back here at home, crossing into Mexico for a medical procedure, it's not uncommon for us here in the borderland. No, not at all. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live near the U.S.-Mexico border with a look at how this particular incident could affect medical tourism in Mexico. Shelby. Yeah, well, Andy and Natasha, a UTEP professor who focuses on a border study, says that it's extremely common for Americans to cross into Mexico for medical procedures, especially here locally. He says El Pasoans go to Juarez very frequently, but he says this news out of Matamoros could have an impact. Here you can see the ambulance bringing the Americans across the border and to a Texas hospital. The Americans crossed in Brownsville, Texas to Matamoros, Mexico, where they came under heavy gunfire and were kidnapped. Video showing the armed men loading the Americans into a pickup truck. Now, UTEP professor of border trade issues, Josiah Hyman, says while El Pasoans may be more cautious after the kidnapping in Matamoros, he still thinks people will cross for medical purposes, speaking about a 2018 survey. Two thirds of the people in El Paso reported crossing to the Mexican side within the past two years. And their, their number one motivation for crossing was in 20% of the cases was uh, for uh, medical or dental services. Now here you can see a map of Mexico from the U.S. Department of State website. The state of Tamaulipas, where Matamoros is, is in red, and Americans are advised to not travel to the state due to crime and kidnapping. Now, Ciudad Juarez is in the state of Chihuahua in Mexico, and that same page that we just showed you on that map from the U.S. Department of State, it does tell Americans to reconsider traveling to the state of Chihuahua due to crime and kidnapping. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Some good information there. Thank you, Shelby. A border